Hey my main dishes, this is Kaylani Griffin here. I forgot to do the opening, so this is it. <sighs> I be stressed the fudge out sometimes. But anyway, okay, so it's almost Christmas. Yes, it's the holiday. I can't speak. Happy holidays to you guys, even if you don't celebrate Christmas, so you'll know. Yeah. This video is about, you know, since it's almost New Year's as well, I'm talking about what I learned in 2017. Also, I think this video would be interesting for me to look back on in the future. Interesting. Number one, in 2017 especially, I learned about friends and that you should not be so quick to call people your friend, especially your best friend. Like, you don't really have to label people, but some people be fake AF. Yeah. Not even just saying that they're fake, but like some people just don't work out with you. And it might be about timing or something. I'm not sure. But hey, everything happens for a reason. So those people that I met that didn't work out are a blessing. You know how they say everything is a lesson or a blessing? Or at least that's what I say. Pretty sure other people say it too though. Wow, I got that backwards. They were definitely lessons. And a lesson is a blessing, right? Mm, deep thought. <laughs> the people that I'm talking about, they taught me, obviously, like I said, to not even call people your friend so easily. Because there's a lot of people you think are your friends and they really don't treat you like a real friend. You know what I mean? Like a real friend should give you just as much back as you give them. I gave like my 100. Like if we're friends, I'm gonna treat you like awesomely you know i mean we have moments where we, where we argue but other than that like i was a really good friend but they lost me because of some stupid reasons some people just dropped me for no reason some people weren't treating me right some people had some other issue because of something that makes no sense it's crazy man it's crazy good friends i want to explain it more but that would be putting out there i guess too much information on those people unless I told a story about them and just didn't say their name. But I don't know how I feel about that, honestly. Leave a comment down in below to tell me how you feel about that, if I did do that, and if you would like me to. Number two, I learned in 2017 that sometimes you need to be selfish. I have an issue doing that. Because like even all my friends have told me, like I always will do stuff for my family. And like my family has been through a lot. Like if I made a drawing my life video that everybody does it would just be full just full just i got stories if you want to know those stories also comment down my left comment down my left yeah so my family's been through a lot and so um they still go through a lot right now because of money and everything so i tried to take care of them when i can all my friends basically long story short are like you should be more selfish and take care of yourself because if you keep giving to them how are you going to be able to save for yourself for what you want in the future makes sense right yeah so but i always have a problem with this because like who doesn't love their family especially me i'm family oriented so i'm gonna help them if they need help but then sometimes it takes like all my money not all my money like i'm not blaming that on them but like part of my money and like i need that money to save my money to have some money to move out to start a new future to start my career in my plus size modeling which is what i want to do number three it's not really something i learned but i guess i could say i learned that i want to move to new york with one of my best friends i'm gonna call him a and we had this idea one day when we was at ikea <laughs> also another crazy story but um yeah if you want to know about that leave a comment down below yeah, since then when we got the idea we were basically really hyped at that moment and we were like yes like we could do that like why not and then we were like oh okay let's think about this so we like did the math and everything <laughs> and we were like oh if we save like three thousand each or more we should be set to move and then you know find a job be looking before maybe transfer from the jobs we already have right now in retail 
to out there if we can and if not then just reapply out there and everything like i've moved a few times so i think i have a gist of how this works the reasons why i would move to new york long story short uh for my career which I, if you didn't know i want to be a plus size model and i also want to do a lot of other things like be an artist and a writer i want to go back to school and I want to learn language. I'm changing my major, which is surprising if you know me because I've always been into art and changing my major to a language, like what? Or languages. I obviously want to travel. That's not obvious, is it? No, but if you knew me, you would know that's obvious. <laughs> all these things I want to do, but there's a longer list if you want to know about all that. Also, leave a comment down below, you know how it is. But other than career and things that I want to do that would be better out there, I also want to move out there because of family. Like I have, family is complicated. Like I said, like it'd be great. But my dad's side of the family is out there, and my little sister is out there, and my older sister is out there, and I just I want to be there for my little sister. Like I have a lot of siblings, younger siblings out here that I'm with now, and like of course I don't want to leave them. And like when I do leave them, I get really emotional, and I miss them a lot. And like I can't help it. I love my family. But I also want to be there for my little sister who is now five and is growing up and like I want her to remember that I was there and also I feel like there's a family I can get closer to kind of like I guess you say like fix some ties and family there so that's something I definitely want to do while also the other reason is because I want to grow up in a way you know how people want to they want to soar from the nest they want to live on their own they want to experience it and show their parents that they can be responsible and stuff although i've been very responsible for my young age so yeah those are the main points and i've learned that the struggle is real the struggle is real like i knew the struggle was real if you knew my past um but i just been feeling it more this year let's just say because of like things that have been happening with friends and family and like a lot of dramas <laughs> and then like jobs i've had and how they've been kind of messed up and like i worked where did i work this year this year i worked at american eagle i worked at a packaging food place for a healthy food app um i worked at gap like three places this year like this crane and i have a story for each one also if you wanted to hear that i guess i could tell that if i decide to comments below and life that's been happening is cray it's some cray cray stuff i've been really trying to work on my instagram and social media you know taking pictures that could be for a portfolio even though like i definitely need a better camera like i use when i got and i make it work but I don't know, I've had people comment on my pictures before. By the way, you can follow me on my Instagram and my Snapchat at I am Kaylani. You can see how to spell my name. You can see that. Yeah, so I've had people comment on my Instagram and be like, oh, like I've had a lot of people that are like, oh, we want to use your pictures or like we want to help you grow your page and stuff. DM'd me about America's Next Top Model and then some people about yeah, just saying like, I could see you being a real model, like for real like but you need better stuff like a better camera like better quality pictures which i'm trying to work on I'm trying to work on. also i tried for america's next top model this year because of that message and because it just made me feel like i could do it so i tried but of course as you know if you watch america's next top model they don't have many plus size models they have had one before but it's kind of rare and i'm not saying that that's the reason why they didn't pick me but they didn't and that's okay if you look down on my my youtube at the very bottom like one of my first videos that has the most views was when i um applied to be torrid's model which i also didn't get but that's okay because uh, basically the overall gist of 2017 is that when bad things happen or not really bad things when hard things happen and you're struggling it's okay you're gonna get through it there's always a next year when you apply to something that you're really excited about and you think you might make it and like it's, it would be the door opener to all the things you won't if you don't make it it's okay because you'll be popping the next year and then you'll get picked by somebody hopefully and you know you just work your butt off and once you make it all those people who didn't pick you when you tried <laughs> God, this is they're gonna regret it. So, 
and it's basically how I'm thinking at the end of the year this year. Like, I go through a lot. Not to say that I go through the most, but um, I be having my breakdowns, but that's okay, people. You can have a breakdown as long as you get your booty back up. But next year, gonna be popping. Oh yeah, oh yeah. You just have to think positively and remind yourself that everything's gonna be okay. Cause when you're at the lowest point in your life, there ain't nowhere to go but up. <laughs> so, thank you for listening. Those are the main things I learned in 2017, unless I forgot something. But if I didn't, then, uh. oh damn. Okay, I forgot to talk about boys. Well, basically boys suck. And if you wanna hear more about that, also I have some date stories I could tell you about. Comment down in the section below. That sounded weird. I'm signing out now. Um, I hope everybody has a good holiday, a good day in general. And feel happy now. Okay, bye.